Um, I would say execution. It's always execution. Yeah. You know, um, this type of atmosphere. You know, they're they're playing as hard as they can. Uh, they're getting into us, but you know, it's just about who who wants it more and really. You know, again, playing with that force, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought we put we did that at times tonight. But, you know, down the stretch, uh, just didn't execute the way we probably wanted to. Yeah. Did you see more movement tonight offensively in your part? Definitely, definitely. I think we, <clears throat> I think the coaching staff saw some things that they like offensively in the half court. So um, we got another game to try to expose it. Steve Kerr says it feels great about who you guys are. Right. Do you feel that way? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, you're talking to somebody that's been there, you know, a couple times, right? Um, so this isn't really anything new, but, you know, it is a stressful situation to be in. And, you know, there's a lot of pressure being at the brink of elimination. But, you know, this is the time where you, you know, you get tighter, right? You get, you know, stronger, you come together, you know, disband. What's the frustration? What's your frustration level? That's a couple games that just slipped away. From yeah, you. that's the that's the biggest thing. It's just like one of those where it's like you wish you could have it back, right? Two games in a row, and so you know it, it's tough. But you know sometimes it takes a little luck too. You know, I mean they hit a lot of shots that I think could qualify as lucky tonight. But I leave that up to you guys. In this particular series, in the first five games, what do you? What do you take with you two game six that makes you feel like we can get that when you come back here? Um, I think just from what we saw tonight, offensively, some of the things that we can expose in their defense and of course going back home, you know, mm -hmm. being back home, you know, getting our home crowd behind us and uh, you know, really looking to exploit that. Is it as physical as it looks out there? Yeah. Is that how the game's going? Because when you guys walked off the court, you were pretty exhausted. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's uh, competing for a championship, so, you know. If you're not exhausted, it's up to Sean, looking at game six, Chris Paul is not able to play in that game. He's certainly not a full strength because of the injury he might have suffered there. What kind of advantage is that going to give you guys at home game six? It's definitely an advantage. I mean, he's one of, probably the head of the snake, right? Um, you know, he's, he, he puts them in a different position that they've been in, that they haven't been in in years. So, you know, you take him away, I mean, that's that's a, that's a big loss. Sean, as much as KD is out of his team, how much do you guys still kind of follow up a lead? Stephen Clay. I mean, been been a cornerstone for four years. It took them a while to get going. They neither of them scored in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. it seems like they, they found their rhythm. And right. Kind of got right. Right. And again, it's just the, the experience of, of being in this situation before. And, uh, you know, not really pressing. You know, Clay's one of the most clutch players in the NBA. Really. I mean, you know, the guy that doesn't really. It, it's, I don't want to say he doesn't think when he's out there, but <laughs> you know, I mean, you see some of the shots that go up. You know, you know, he's fearless. And I mean, that's that's the way that, you know, that's the way that, that we like him to be out there. And, you know, he's learned to be. And he's a two-time champion, right? He's been in this situation before, so uh, it's been great. When they got it going in the second and third one, did you guys feel like swinging back in your control a bit? For sure. I mean, when those two get going, I mean, it, it really gives us the force and energy that we need, right, uh, offensively. I mean, Kevin is a different animal in himself where he can get a shot any time, but, you know, those two, you know, Steph and Clay, when they kind of get going, it gives our team another, another level. John, the ball movement was better tonight than it was in game four, obviously, <coughs> but it was still kind of hurting and jerky for you guys. Well, what do the Rockets do to sort of take you out of Warriors down? They just get in you. I mean, they're, they're more of a physical team. I mean, you look at them, they got some linebackers out there, right? So. <laughs> Um, you know, they're they're built to, you know, really play physical basketball, and in the playoff situation, that's what it comes down to. Thanks, guys. Thank you.